Hey everybody, welcome to part two. I haven't started reading anything since I did my part one wrap up of the readathon. Um, but I am going to start reading again pretty soon. Of course, like I was saying, I'm going to continue with this one because I'm really into it. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm still doing it. And I'm still in the same spot, but yeah. I'm going to start reading it probably in the next 15, 20 minutes. So. And when I have something more to say, I will update you guys. But yes, this is, remember, part two. By the time you see this one, part one should be up. And yeah, I will talk to you guys when I read some and have something to report. But yeah, really good book, like I was saying in the first part of the video. Very, very good book, book but very, very violent too. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be back later. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. I finally read some more in the book. I know it's almost, like the readathon's almost over and I haven't been posted anything. I mean, I haven't been updating you guys. But I am currently on page 256, which is chapter 16. Very, very good book, like I've been saying all along. A lot of creepiness to it, some happiness. In between the creepiness and sadness. But I know, like, a lot of what's going to happen. So, spoilers. It's going to be so sad. It's not really spoilers. It's just opinion. But I know some people, even if you say it's sad or something like that, they want it, They think it's a spoiler. Because so, everybody has their own idea of what a spoiler is. But anyways, we're not going to get into that. But yes, that's what we're at. The tabs. Then I got, I'll show you how much I actually got because some of this is for, for the next book, so. Let me find it. Wait a minute, never mind, that's still blood. That's still the next book. So I got that much to go. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight, but I'll get close. Because I'm going to wrap up wherever I'm at at 11. Because I want to be in bed by 11.15, 11.30. So, yeah, I'm hoping to maybe at least try to get to the last part. Which would be... If I can get my fingers to work. I will show you what, where the next part starts. Right here is the where the next part starts. So I'd like to get that section, if possible, done tonight. We shall see if that happens, but yeah, and that would be 341, so if I can stop at 341, then I will be happy, so I sh maybe be able to do that, it's like 80 pages or so, we shall see, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it, I think my favorite character is L Laney, Lena? I think it's Lena. It's L-A-N-A. -A. I always forget how you say that word. The name. And for the guy, I have two that I really, really like. I like Jonas and I like um, Mac. And yeah. Oh, and the, another girl that I really like is uh, Freddie. She's the one spoiler. That's the fairy. I think that's what, yeah, fairy. She's the one that's the fair. She's really neat. I like her. She's also the one that almost got raped in the book. I told you guys that there was like a rape thing. So yes, that is a spoiler. I know. But I warn you, there's going to be spoilers in there. So, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely violent. People I don't like. I don't like, um, I forget her name. It's a girl. Uh, Aldra? Allegra? It's A L L E G R A. I don't like her, and I do not like Eric. Those two I do not like. But yeah. I also like, um, what is her name? Katie? 
Thanks, Katie. A lot of the girls are my favorite, I think, in this book. Usually it's the guys. But I really like um, Fred. I like Arliss. I think that's how you say her name, something like that. Lainey, of course, like I said. Rachel. Uh, Katie, I believe her name is. Or Karen. Is her name Karen? Katie or Karen, something like that. I think it's Katie, though. There might be a Karen, too. I'm not really sure. But definitely Jonah and Mac are my favorite out of the guys. And there's Rachel. Did I say Rachel? I can't remember. I think I did. So, yeah, there's a few that I really, 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 really like. Like I said, most of it are the girls, even though I do like the guys as well. But, yeah... I'm not sure after I finish this one if I am going to um, read the next one or I might pick up either a kid's book because it's middle grade March. I haven't read anything yet for that or I might pick up what's the other one I was thinking of. There's another one I was thinking about picking up. I can't think of what it is off the top of my head. But there was there's like three that I really thinking about picking up. Uh, for the middle grade one, I was thinking about Wondersmith, maybe. Wondersmith, or there's this one that's small um, with the animals, like the cats or something like that. So that's a small one. And I also want to um, try and fit it up, finish up the disasters. And start the Hunger Games. Because me and my friend, we're going to wait until Wednesday to start um, the Lord of the Rings. Where we can read up, get re read some of the books that we're currently in the middle of reading. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get as many books as I can done by next Wednesday. For I can concentrate more on the Lord of the Rings. But, yeah. I'm not sure if I want to go straight into... Blood, I think it's of blood and bone. I might like give it a break and finish this off towards the end of the month, beginning of next month. Because Book Book Rose will be doing her uh, owls again, and I'm hoping I'm kind of thinking about holding on to that book in case it'll fit into one of the prompts. But yeah. And I have some other books that will be coming tomorrow and Saturday. And then, of course, I have my book of the month coming soon. And I pre-ordered um, Barnes & Noble Special Edition of The Near Witch, I think it's called, by V.E. Suave. It's the one that used to, like, it's a re-release or something, new re-release or something, like a book that was out of print, and now it's, it's, um... What you call it. But anyways, it's a special edition from Barnes & Noble that I picked up. I mean, that I pre-ordered. I probably won't get that until the end of next week. But I, it, if you guys are interested, I think it said that there's going to be a map in the special edition of The Near Witch by V.E. Swab. So, yeah. So, I definitely ordered that. And it was cheap. It was only like 14 something I believe, with shipping and handling. Because I'm a Prime member. I mean, not a Prime member. I'm so used to saying Prime member because of Amazon, because I used to get from Amazon. I'm a member. I don't know what they call their members. I guess you're just a member. I don't know if they have, like, a special member thing. But anyways, I'm a member of Barnes & Noble. So, anyway, so it was only 14-something. Like I said, they didn't charge me for shipping and handling just with a book and tax. So, I'll be having that pretty soon. Yeah. I'm thinking about buying the, don't know who wrote it, but it's the called the Savior Champion or something like that. I know Bookables, I think that's her channel. She did a TBR for this month where she's reading all like adult books. And she was talking about that she's going to be reading the Savior Champion or whatever it's called. So I'm debating about buying that. If I do, it probably won't be until... Probably next month, because I don't have the money right now. So, we, yeah, because I bought enough books. But, excuse me. But, yeah, back to the book. Yeah. 
Lainey and Mac are de definitely I love. So, and I, a Jonas, Jonah. He's the one that can, like, he can see if someone has, is dying or not. Like, you know, he knows if someone's going to die. He has that, you know, that ability. So that's what he is. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what he can do. And like I said, Lainey and Mac are witches. Fred is the fairy. So, I'm trying to think. There's this boy that was mentioned. I don't know if he's in the book anymore after just being mentioned a couple times. But he's, he's some kind of a um, creature or some kind of thing too. But I can't remember what he is. But yeah. It's very interesting. Like they got different sets of characters like I was saying. So yeah. I'm really enjoying it. And yeah. It's just really sad because I know what's going to happen because I read it before, you guys. So I know exactly what's going to happen. I know I'm going to be like boohooing when it happens. But I'm not going to tell you anything more about it. But yeah, it's definitely a good book. And I'm going to let you guys go because I'm rambling. It's already been like almost 11 minutes on just rambling about stuff. So yeah, I'll be back later probably just to wrap this up. But you know how far I got? Around it's 8 o'clock now, so I'm going to try to read as much as I can until 10, 10.30. And then come and wrap this up. Of course, I'm going to take breaks in between. But yeah, I will catch you guys all later. Bye for now. Hi everybody, I came to wrap up for the night. I got to where I wanted to get to, which is part 4. Which is Dark to Light, and it's on chapter... 21, which starts on page, it shows you that page, that page, you always have to go to the next page first, 341, so I stopped on page 341, so I should be able to finish this in the morning, and I'm probably going to do another little vlog just to wrap it up, so yeah, tomorrow I'll do, I'll either do a um, vlog to wrap it up, or I'll do a review tomorrow <coughs> excuse me of everything that happened but it's really good sad like I said there's gonna be spoilers so book is up so you know spoiler time but yeah found out that Max I think that's his name Max yeah his brother I forget what his brother's name is but we found out that he is bad. He turned to the dark side as you would say from Star Wars. <laughs> they mentioned it in here. He pulled uh what is it? Anakin? Anakin? Skywalker? How would we say it? <laughs> Whatever his name is. Anakin. The one that is Darth Vader. <laughs> but anyways. But then they said. That's what one of the character one of the characters. I think his name is Joe. I could be wrong. The dog could be Joe. Because there's a dog in here that I love. But anyways. <laughs> like I said, there is there is rape in this book. Even though it don't show it. But it talks about it. This girl was talking about. I don't know how old she is. She's young. She has to be like 14. Her and her mom were both. Both. um Raped. And then they. Her mom told her to run. So she ran, and then what did they do? They captured the mom, and they hung her. It's really sad. Like, this book is just really sad, you guys. So, yeah. Very good, but very violent. Like I said, very, very violent. But, um, yeah, it's a really interesting read. We got fairies, we got, what are they called, uh, oh my gosh, it's an easy, an elf, we got elves, we got the bad ones, I don't know what, the, what they're, warlocks, but there's something else too, whatever they are, but I don't know what they're considered, Joes, I mean not Joes, oh my gosh, 
Max's brother. Oh, you guys. Now I'm going to be, t I'm getting to the part that's going to be super sad. Okay, that's enough for spoilers, but yeah, I'm getting to the part that's going to be super sad. I'm going to be boohooing tomorrow when I finish the book. But yes, it is so good, you guys. I mean, very violent, but it's so good. I mean, there's so many good characters in the book. And I love Joe. Not Joe. I think Joe is the dog. I can't remember. Isn't that awful you can't remember? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Let me tell you. I'll tell you what. Let me see. Let's see. Eddie is the is the guy. I'm thinking it's yeah, Joe is the dog. I was right. <laughs> I was like, I am right, right? <laughs> but yeah, Joe is the dog. The main dog in here. <laughs> the main animal. And, oh my god, I love it. I love the dog. I forgot what, excuse me, I forget what type of dog it is. But oh my gosh, you guys. It's the dog I love so much. But oh my gosh, it's so sad that, that Max, his brother, is bad. I told you I was, but I mentioned him in when I was talking about people I didn't trust, and I was right. It's been a while, and I remembered certain things that happened, but I don't remember how it happened exactly, so that's why it's like, some of it's like, okay, I remember this happened, but... Who did what? You know what I mean? Or how did it happen? You know, what took place? Whatever. But yeah, it's really good. So I should finish that tomorrow. And then I gotta decide what I'm gonna read after that. I might finish the Disaster Stars, or how do you say it? Or I might start a young adult one. I mean, a middle grade one. I have some books coming tomorrow, so. I might read one of the ones that are coming tomorrow because I got two. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but they're middle grade books. So I might read one of those when they come tomorrow. Of course, you guys are seeing some of my haul now, but some of the haul you aren't, you haven't seen. Like you've seen this one and you know I got the next one because I talked about maybe reading that one. And yeah, so you guys seen a couple of my spoilers for when my other books get here. And then I ordered, like I was saying, a couple, I mean a book, The Near Witch, like I was saying, by V.E. Swab. I already mentioned that, so that will be here probably the end of next week, which I'm really excited for because there's supposed to be an exclusive map or something in it, that version. I don't know, like, if there's any other special versions. I didn't, Of course, I didn't see anything special at Amazon. The only thing I don't like about Amazon is that they really don't have no, like, special editions like the other one, like Barnes & Noble does and, and even Books A Million. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good book, you guys. I mean, oh my gosh. I just can't believe how sad it is, though, and how violent. But there's hope in it. I mean, there's babies being born. And the babies are so... Like, what you call it, you know? Oh, guys. I mean, oh my gosh. It's just like, this book is just like pulling so many... My emotions in so many different directions. There's happiness. There's sadness. There's parts that are super funny that crack you up in the book. I mean... It has almost everything. So, yeah. I'm I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, it has to be one of my favorite rereads that I've done of the book. I actually think I like it better this time than last time. I can't remember what I gave it last time. I may have gave it a five, but I don't remember because I used to, like, um, I still rate that way, but I don't rate as bad as I used to. Because I used to give everything like five and four, even if I, 
and mostly fives, even if I thought they were more of a, like a four and a half, I would give them a five and never give, never give it a chance to be like a four. But now I'm trying to like, unless I really, really can't decide and pick a half, I try to decide between a five or a four. So hopefully I can start getting a little bit more critical. I think I am. I mean, I did DNF Pride last month. I gave um, T is for tree like a two and a half star rating or two rating, whatever it was. So I'm learning, but it's just there's sometimes that I don't know what to give it. And I'm um, usually like give it the benefit of the doubt and give it the higher one. I hear me. But I'm trying to learn not to do that now. Like a like king of scars. I was going to give it five, and then when I really thought about it, I was like, no, four and a half. And I probably would have gave it a four, and not the four and a half, but it was really, like, right there in the middle between a four and a five. Like, really, really close to a five, but not quite there. That's what I meant to say. I don't know why I said close to a four and a five. <laughs> but anyway, it was close to a, f a five, but not quite there. That's why I gave it the four and a half. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah. But yeah, that is it. I really got to do better at these 24 hours, you guys, because I never even finished one book. My friend Ashley finished a book through her 24 hours. But not me. But oh well. I probably could have. I could have probably be done with it in another hour, but I'm tired. And my throat feels like it's going to go out on me. So I am going to wrap this up. And yeah. Um, if I finish the book tomorrow and I feel like giving it a review, I will. And, I'll, and of course, you guys will see it if, if I decide to review it. But, yes, um, hope you guys like this video. I know it's probably pretty boring, me just talking about my feelings for the book. But I just wanted to do a kind of spoily one, even if I don't give you all the spoily, you know, all the feels. But I might. But, yeah. I will talk to you guys in the morning. Remember, if you ever need anything, just a comment down below. I'm always here, and I'm, I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel and commenting. So, yeah, I love you guys all. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing, and remember to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is uploaded. I love you guys all, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now. Mm. We're out of here.